want to welcome all of you to this celebration. I'm going to call it a celebration because we've been seven years in the making to get to this point. We've been 40 years, the DNR has been 40 years in trying to buy this place and make this public land. And if anybody that's taken a look out that way, you know, you can see most of the Goose Pond Fish and Wildlife Area. You can see what a wonderful place it is. This is a very knowledgeable group, but most Hoosiers don't know until you tell them and are really delighted when they learn that we are in the, by far the uh, biggest uh, uh, era of, of conservation and protection of our natural uh, spaces in Indiana that we've ever had. The Goose Pond, I guess I'll have to always now remember sort of bookends of my time in service because it was not that long into my first year, 05, when uh, we finally were able to pull the trigger and, and bring about that success that led to 8,000 acres here. Um, and now here uh, with 113 days, I think it is, to go, uh, we're going to put this structure here, which I hope and believe will do everything that Mark and Matt Ubalar and the other proponents have, have uh, envisioned for it. I've looked at a lot of photographs and all the rest, but what a fantastic vantage point this is. And uh, I just can't wait till, that, till the structure is here and it's being used all the time by people from nearby and not so near. You know, as I said, Goose Pond just motivated some of us to think even bigger and bigger and wider. And, and uh, the, uh, Mark and his, and his teammates have already uh, added another, I don't know, 29,000-some uh, acres to the next two big projects, which uh, are uh, along the Muscatatuck River east of here and, of course, the Wabash River corridor that we're working on. Two of the, as I understand it, signature projects anywhere in the nation right now in terms of conservation. Mm -hmm.